Welcome to Learn to Use Your Online Class Space for the School of Counselling. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to know how to stay informed, find out what to do in the class spaces each week and how to find and submit assignments. We'll also look at communicating with the teacher and other students. There's a link to the student portal on your college website up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been mailed to you before the start of your course. If you're a continuing student, your username and password remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you've logged in, you'll see this page first, and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see now, then an option to go into your online class spaces. You have a link to your personal details here, to your enrolment information, to your academic results, and to your financial statements here. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out, go to your student email account and also go to how-to guides in the IT help desk. These how-to guides are really useful. For example, here are instructions for how to submit assignments online. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop-down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student as this menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. So now we're in the My Courses section where we can see the online class spaces. Let's look at the Student Lounge first. In here, the school news tells you what's happening with the school. There's a page here with key contacts within the school and information for new students. It's a good idea to come in and explore the new student information page. You'll have lots of questions about your course and many of the answers are here. Back to the Student Lounge main page. Here you can write questions and get answers from School of Counselling staff about administration and course questions. There's information here on student reps and seminars, then student forums. Here you can look for a study buddy, buy or sell textbooks, or get to the ACAP Facebook group. Now let's go back to the My Courses page. Let's go into an online class space. This is a class space for the unit Preparation for Academic Study. The basic layout of all your class spaces will be the same. Let's start with getting set up to study. Firstly, you want to find out about what the textbook is for the unit. We click on Unit Outline here and then click again on this link to open a PDF file. There's some general information about the unit and then the textbook information. Coop.com.au is a good place to get your textbooks. OK, so now what should you be doing each week? Well, for each week, there's information to read and activities to do here in the weekly sections. 12 sections for 12 weeks of the trimester. Let's look at section 1. Each weekly section is organised like a book. This is the first page, and you can either use the arrows here to move forwards and back, or choose your page from the menu. The page called Section Requirements tells you what you should be doing during this week. You can see here that you need to read a chapter of the textbook and do four activities and a self-assessment in week one. Now a tip for you. Each weekly section has a reference list. This tells you the books and other resources that were used to write the information in the weekly section. These resources are a great place to start looking for information for your assignments or to find extra readings if a topic particularly interests you. If you're an online or blended delivery student, you may have live online classes with your teacher and classmates. Check the unit announcements here regularly to find out about days and times. The live classes for online and blended units are held in a platform called Blackboard Collaborate, which you access here. There's a video on using Blackboard Collaborate here too. Okay, let's move on to look at assignments. Let's go back to the unit outline link. Here, there's a summary of the assessment requirements for the unit. However, I need to open the unit outline PDF to get to the actual assignment questions. They're usually about halfway through this document. OK, here we are. This is what the assignment questions look like, and the next page has the marking criteria. 
When you're ready to submit your assignment, go to the week it's due and there will be a submission link. Your unit may have videos about the assignments, which you'll see here. Some units give you access to Smart Thinking. This is a service that gives you feedback on your draft assignment. It takes up to 48 hours to get feedback, so you do need to submit your draft to Smart Thinking before the assignment due date. Okay, some final things. To stay up to date with news from your teacher, go to the unit announcements link here. The general discussion area here is a way to ask questions and communicate with your teacher and classmates. This general information link takes you to a page that has lots of information on things you might want to know about, including instructions for submitting assignments, so come in and explore this area. Finally, over on the right here are links to student learning support and the library. These are great resources for learning to write assignments, reference, research and other study skills. Get in touch with us at Student Learning Support if you need advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.